how's it going guys it's a Peruvian trucker back with another video I'm coming at you from a wait station on I-10 entering Florida uh, but oh, and that's because I'm finally getting some home time but uh, before I get into the home time and all the positives I want to address the title of the video um, I guess I ran into someone that wasn't having the best day um, I really don't want to get into the details because I feel like it doesn't do anybody any good. There's a lot of videos out there about, you know, people uh, getting upset, like truckers getting upset at, at other truckers or just people like getting upset at truckers and there's a lot of insults and violence and stuff like that. And uh, I really don't want to contribute to that, uh, but I do need to address it and mention it because it did happen and it is a negative experience my first negative experience on this journey and uh, I, I'm not gonna pretend like this is like a rare occasion and I'm not gonna pretend like it's probably never gonna happen again it probably will uh, but basically I just pulled up at a, at a pilot and I wanted to take my 30 and I wasn't blocking anybody but this gentleman uh, felt like he needed to tell me that um, that I had to move and I we had a discussion about it and it escalated and he threatened to knock me the out uh, at which at that point I just like went back to my truck and I like I, 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 I was done with that but I wasn't gonna you know engage with him I was just trying to you know through talking uh, reach some common ground or at least try to understand what his problem was uh, to no avail uh, and that's all I'm gonna say about it I really don't wanna I mean it, there's there is more to it but but it, there's no point to it um, and yeah I mean I was shivering for a good 45 minutes after that I had to call a couple friends to just you know like get my mind off of it and uh, he had a red truck, so I, and I'm I'm on a load going to Gainesville, Florida, that doesn't deliver until Friday. So uh, there's really no rush, and I've been doing 60 miles an hour since the the moment I picked it up in Texas. So the entire time I'm looking at my mirror for any red trucks that are approaching me, just because I mean I just didn't want to run into this guy again. Um, but anyway, uh, and. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that like uh, being out on the road there's a lot of positives of course you've seen my videos I enjoy most aspects of it uh, but you know yeah you you run enough miles and you well trouble's gonna find you or you'll run into trouble I guess um, and that's the thing I'm very introverted and I love being on the road because I get to 
Texas trucker. Uh, I was at a Walmart distribution center, uh, just you know, walking from the receiving office to my truck, and I happened to you know just ran into him, and uh, he recognized me from the videos, and we talked for about 30 minutes. He had to take care of some stuff, but then he came back, and we talked for about 30 minutes, and it was a really nice conversation. We had a, uh, it's it's always a good experience when I meet someone that uh, that watches the videos. Uh, it, it fuels my, you know, my excitement for making them for you guys and, you know, for sharing the experience. And, uh, you know, it's always learn, a learning experience for me because I get to, you know, talk to someone that took a different path. And, yeah, and he's an owner-operator and uh, we had a good time talking about, like, some of the good things about Prime and, uh, and what he's experienced as an owner-operator. Um, like how, how much cheaper his truck payment is but but it's all about the path that you choose um and and we both had that understanding and that's what i like about that i mean that, that's another takeaway from that interaction that's not like the main thing but it, it was just a good interaction like how like 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 i i understand i i definitely understand and respect every single owner operator out there because they're taking a big risk uh but i appreciate it how he understood the route that I took and how that works for me. I'm very respectful about that as well. Uh, so that was pretty nice. Uh, after that, uh, um, I, I, well, I started, I, I, got a, I got this load, which is the load uh, that is going to Gainesville. It picked up in Waco, Texas. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. But uh, from Waco, Texas to Gainesville. And, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's been a pretty good week. Uh, well, half week. <laughs> it's only been like four days since I've made the last video. Um, and uh, speaking of the last video, I want to thank everybody that watched it. Uh, I uh, I was a little concerned that maybe the breakdown of the numbers wasn't going to be as explicit or as detailed or as understandable. But uh, from what I read, it was uh, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people got it. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy that that. Uh, that it gave a lot of people some insight. Uh, I am actually uh, not happy about the numbers though because I was talking to my friend today after I had this issue with with the guy that wanted to fight me. Um, I was talking to a friend that upgraded with me and he made north of $10,000 on his first month. Um, I'm, not, I'm not upset. I, I am upset. I am upset. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. I am upset, but I understand that I sat for a while. So, and I still make good money. So I'm. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Uh, well, we'll see how the next month goes. Right after I get back from.